Good afternoon. It is 2.45 on Friday, uh, and this is round two because just as I started to record uh, about five minutes ago, uh, <laughs> Hunky texted. I had to cut my vlog short yesterday because he texted and I couldn't read it before it went away. He'd forgotten his key, so he was locked out of the house. <laughs> and went for a walk while I was vlogging. <clears throat> so he did the same thing today. So this time I, I, I had just started vlogging. I just did an intro. So I stopped and checked and yeah, he forgot his key again. I said, well, <clears throat> I said, I, just down at the end of the street in the park, I said, I'll come get you and let you in. But next time you can sit and wait, my friend. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, <clears throat> that's fine. He's putting his stuff in the house now, and then he said he wanted to go for a walk. So, I'm proud of him. Good boy. He's taken to every Thursday, he goes for a run after school. And, uh, yeah, so now I guess today, yesterday he went for his run. Well, he went for a walk. I came home, he got let in, and he changed, brought his school stuff in, and then went for his run, right? So, <clears throat> he's going to put his stuff in the house now, and then go for a walk. I said, that's fine. <sighs> Every time Boo Boo gets in the car, he brings leaves in with him. Blech. So, man, my back is killing me today. So... <laughs> My boss and I on Monday last week, I think it was. I don't know. One day last week when it was just her and I working. We realized she went to vacuum. I don't know if it was a carpet or an area rug, but she went to vacuum something. And she was really giving her. And she finally realized that uh, the wheels had fallen off. <laughs> the friggin' vacuum. <clears throat> so it's really low to the ground. And you just, they're, oh, fuck. So, we had to drive back to her place and swap out vacuums. So today, we were working with her personal vehicle because our work vehicle is making weird noises and she's old <laughs> we're really hoping it's nothing too major <sighs> so we swapped vehicles today and we didn't have a lot of vacuuming to do thank goodness but the one house that was a lot of vacuuming I ended up doing and I thought I was gonna break my goddamn shoulder I'm like what is with this vacuum I'm trying to adjust the thing and it's still like it's low to the ground whatever I just stopped trying to push forward because you could not push this thing forward it was insane my arm is just killing me I just did everything backwards whatever it's fine got it done then the new hire went to use it for something and same thing and I'm like see okay so I'm not a whiny little bitch like Jesus <laughs> so she turned it over no wheels. It's the one that we swapped out and my boss forgot to put the other. So the new hire texts the boss and let her know. And she's like, oh shit, I forgot to swap the vacuums back. I was like, well, we have one more house. So she was going to come bring us a vacuum. And I was like, there's no, there's no point. We have one house left to do. They have a vacuum. They have a really good vacuum. We'll just use their vacuum. It's fine. Like, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So, she's, I'm really sorry. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> you are really friggin' sorry. <laughs> my back and my shoulder are not happy right now. <laughs> you know, all the new hire had to do was an area rug. I had to do, like, half a house. I was not amused. <laughs> 
<laughs> didn't even dawn on me that maybe she forgot to switch the vacuums over. I just thought, I, I just thought maybe that dial had fucked up and oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, shit. Other than that, it was a very smooth day. <clears throat> Fridays, there's always some kind of fuckery. So, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I said to Monkey when I went and let him in, I'm going to vlog for a little bit. And then I have to go to the dollar store and pick up some hamburger buns because I think I'm just going to make burgers tonight for the boys. I have um, some soup that I made on Monday that I'm going to finish tonight myself. And i have some ravioli to make up and i have some chili that i want to make up but i'll probably do all that cooking tomorrow i'm not in the mood tonight not in the mood i'll get up early tomorrow and do cooking so and i have a buttload of towels to do i was supposed to do towels when i got home last sunday but i sat down and I actually started watching um, True Blood, which is a show, um, I think there's like seven seasons. It's not on anymore. And I remember it being fairly popular. It's a little on the cheesy side, in my opinion. <laughs> but, and, and, and there's a couple of characters that drive me up the frickin' wall. They're just so stupid, it drives me up the wall. <laughs> But, there is a specific character who I absolutely love and I wish was in it more. And I'm hoping that as the show goes on, he is in it more. Um, and I can't remember his name. He's got a kind of an interesting name. What's his name? Lafayette? I think his name is Lafayette. He's a cook at this local bar, diner, restaurant, whatever. Um, and yeah, he's just a very, a very interestingly written character. I love the way he talks. I, I just, I just love this character. If it was not for this character, I'd probably not be watching this show because it is extremely cheesy. <laughs> yeah. And, and a lot of the characters do drive me absolutely insane. They're just really stupid characters. <laughs> I don't quite see why it was so popular, except for maybe this this Cook character, this Lafayette character. He is, I don't know. I don't know. He's a very interesting character, and I like him, and he is the reason why I watch the show. <laughs> But I've been binge watching it like every night since like Sunday, I think. I think Sunday is when I start it. So yeah, tomorrow regardless, I have to do towels because I'm all out of towels. I have no clean towels in my house. Actually, I might start them when I get home. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I think Boo Boo's working till five today, so I'm not gonna bother making dinner until I get home with him, so. And then, yeah, I have leftover soup that I can have. It turned out so good. Oh my goodness, it's, I love soup. I love soup so much. And I have some, uh, oh, what are they called? Like Tostitos or whatever that I toasted up in the oven with some salt and pepper and some chipotle seasoning and crumbled them all up. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <clears throat> so, I might treat myself to a bag of Doritos, too. I've had a yin for Doritos for a couple of days now. <laughs> been trying to fight it because everybody has their Halloween candy out now, right? So all the Halloween candy they get taken by the kids. 
And I mean, they have like, like bags of it out, right? And they have a sign out for us to take whatever we want. Like take as, take as much as you want. So when they have a bag like that, I'll take like one bag. It's fine. I'm not going to take a shit ton of them. <sighs> but I mean, it's been like that at a lot of houses. So I have a lot of candy right now. Some <laughs> but I'm really more of a chip ice cream chocolate bar kind of girl. The candy is nice because it's, it's sugar for while I'm at work. So I'll just leave that in my bag and that'll be my work candy. My work pick me up. Especially if we can't make it to a coffee shop, which happens frequently. I can't believe it is relatively nice today. It's like 12 degrees out right now, I think. I mean, it's gray and cloudy and kind of icky, but it's dry. <laughs> the wind isn't crazy. It was chilly this morning. But I think maybe three or four houses in, I lost my jacket. I just left it in the car. It was so hot. It was so hot. People right now have their houses either absolutely freezing cold or hot as balls. There is no in between. And this is when we get sick. <laughs> My coworker is sick right now, I think. She was really hoping it was like the tail end of her allergies, but mm, I think she's getting a cold. <clears throat> I told her, rest up, take it easy over the weekend. Don't get me sick, man. Don't do it. Because <laughs> I'll still come to work and it'll just keep going around. I do not care. <laughs> I'm not taking any time off work that I don't absolutely have to. We're coming into Christmas and I need money. <laughs> yes, sir. The kids need their winter wardrobe. Yeah. I was looking at my winter stuff uh, last week or whatever. I'm I'm just about out of yoga pants. I'm not amused. Mm -mm. I bought like two or three pairs last year and I noticed that they were getting all ripped to shit. I must be really hard on them at work. I don't know. <clears throat> the quality of stuff is not what it used to be. I don't think. Not a good, not a good. I think I have my boyfriend's birthday coming up in a month. I know it's sometime in December. Everybody's got their winter coats and stuff, so I don't have to worry about that. It's so funny because Monkey's dad texted me last week, was asking me about if he needs it. He was going to the, I don't know, Columbia store or whatever. Um, and he wanted to know if Monkey needed boots or coats or whatever. And I said, nope, I, I handled that like a month ago. <laughs> it's all good, bro. It's all good. You worry about the little ones. buy a no Columbia jacket. Jesus Christ. I'm going to buy that shit for kids. I mean, they're going to outgrow it before the winter's even over, but whatever. Do you? Do you? I will go to the Walmart or the Giant Tiger and buy a $40 coat. It's fine. I think it was last year his, well, now ex-wife went and got, ordered him uh, a Columbia coat. It was a nice coat. It was like a $300 fucking jacket. I think she got it on sale or something because she's, she's really good at stuff like that. But I seen it in, I can't remember if it was Giant Tiger or Walmart. Same, same style of coat because I wanted one. Because they were really thin, but they were really warm. Um, and I don't like bulky jackets, especially if I'm driving or if I'm sitting in the van or whatever at work. Um... 
And yeah, I'm pretty sure it was at Walmart that I seen them. And they were like 300 bucks. Like, Jesus Christ, eat a dick. And now for me, a coat will last me for fucking 10 years. Like, whatever. But this coat that she got for Monkey last year, within months, had a great big rip in the arm. Pff, whatever. We stuck duct tape on that bitch. I was like, I am not buying you another jacket. And neither is she. And I kept telling her, oh, I'm going to patch it. I'm going to patch it. I'm not patching no jacket. Nope. 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 So I just went out to the Giant Tiger. I think I was there looking for yoga pants. And I found some nice warm bomber type jackets um i think they were like 40 bucks or something fuck it i put the yoga pants down and i grabbed him a jacket whatever done there <laughs> you're good <sighs> he's in high school now so he's too cool for snow pants i said whatever i made sure it was a long jacket because he's got to wait outside for the bus so you're gonna want your jacket to at least come down over your butt You want boots. He's like, I don't really go outside at lunch or nothing. So, like, it's fine. Do you? I will have to get him another pair of shoes, though. So, I might do that in the next few days. Take him out. Let him get some shoes. We'll see. I don't know. The boots that he's got winter boots. I had him try them on. They still fit him. So he's got, you know, room room to wiggle his toes and stuff. So it's all good. So, well, you might find that you want to wear them because and, and just bring your shoes with you and switch them. Leave your boots in your locker or something because uh, you're going to be standing in the snow waiting for your bus. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Live and learn, though. It's fine. I have to remember, he's going to his dad's tomorrow morning. I think he said his dad was picking him up. So, well, you're going to have to remember to bring your school picture or order stuff because um, if he's ordering, if his dad's going to order pictures, I said, you tell him to order me one because it's all online now and I don't have a credit card. So, if he'll order me a picture, I'll give him the cash for it. I just want one picture. <laughs> I haven't got pictures in like three or four years since they switched them online because I don't have a fuck credit card. And I'm not about to get a credit card just so I can order school pictures. You won't take my check. You don't get my money. So, I have no idea what we're going to be doing this weekend. Everybody's staying home, I think. I think my boyfriend's starting his online quiz. He's, he's doing an online course. He wants to change jobs. I can't remember what the course is for, but... Uh, whatever stops the complaining makes me very happy. <laughs> I think he's going to start that. I'm going to stay home. I'm not going to his place no more. His place is too cold. My house has heat. I'm hoping it's a nice weekend. I would like to do some yard work this weekend. <laughs> And then I'm off on Monday. I have to take Monkey to a doctor's appointment in the afternoon. He's got that planner's wart on his toe that we're going to go get it froze or whatever it is that they do to it. Been fighting with it for a good year now. We're done. <laughs> we, we cave, uncle. We need help. Somebody deal with it. I think they said it was like 20 bucks or something. Whatever. Just do your thing. Make it go away. Make it go away. So 
So yeah, that's about it. Not much, not much going on right now. Wackiness will ensue shortly, I am sure. I hate this time of year so much. I want summer back. <laughs> Uh, like, it's not even pretty anymore. Everything's, you know, most of the, the pretty colored leaves are down now. So anything that's left is just brown and icky looking. Like, I just hate it. I hate it so much. There's never any sun and I'm a solar powered bitch. I need color and I need sunshine. Or I don't function well at all. <laughs> I'm screwed now until about June. <laughs> oh, well. Well, we're at the 20 minute mark, so I think I'm going to boot. I got to pick up some buns and uh, go home and start some towels. Binge watch my show. <laughs> so yeah anybody watching thank you I appreciate you uh, if I don't get out to vlog over the weekend have a great weekend take care of yourself and we'll talk later <laughs>